Hello everyone, welcome to today's Photopea tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be discussing a feature called the Raster Mask. So without further ado, let's all start things up by booting up a new project in Photopea. So for this tutorial, you're going to need an image like this, which has obstacles but a mostly clear background to allow the functions of this feature to work properly. So first, you need the text tool, and of course, it's the T key for that. Drag some text on the screen, and this text has to be pretty big, round size 250 for this image. And then type something relative to the image. Press X to flip black and white around. That will be important for later. However, that does not work with text. You have to go up here. So, let's move this around to here. And now for the, the raster mask part. So, duplicate the background layer and have the text be in between these layers. And down here, you'll see this little camera icon which says Add Raster Mask. So, add a raster mask by clicking on that, this little icon down here. And press the B key to select the brush tool and decrease the opacity to about 75%, 76%, doesn't really matter as long as it's not too visible. So, as you can see, if you draw on it with a white pen, it does absolutely nothing. However, if you press X to switch black and white around, and then you start drawing, as you can see, it fills in here, which will be incredibly important. I will do one letter, and then I'll speed the rest of this up. because it should be pretty simple and pretty easy to follow along. So to quickly explain what I just did there, what I simply did was because I want this to be completely non-destructive and I want this to have a cool effect, if you covered the whole thing over the effect wouldn't be that cool, I wanted to kind of look like some of the letters are going behind mountain and that's the main thing with the raster mask, it can make things look cool like that. So I decreased the brush size and just simply drew around this so I could but not destroy that part of the image when I made the brush larger like this. Alright, that's all I wanted to say. Now I can go back to speeding things up so you don't have to be here all day. So, this is the fun part. Once you've finished, bump the opacity back up. And as you can see here, it's created an awesome effect, making it look like part of your image is hidden behind a mountain. This is this can be useful for a lot of things, like simple graphics like this, to bits of a YouTube thumbnail, per se. Hey, so... I'm sure this doesn't need recapping, considering we only covered one thing, and that was 
how to use a raster mask to create a cool effect like this. So, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.